This is Highlights from a single morning playing at Ground Zero Airsoft UK on one of their Sunday free roam games. We're currently waiting for the game to start at one of the bases, the Stag Camp. We've got a bunch of bases to go to to put flags up for our team. The first base we're going to is the landing zone. I've just arrived at the landing zone. There was a little bit of contact but I didn't get involved in it myself. All my friendlies took out all the contact before I actually got here. But someone uh, from our team's just run right up to the flag there and he's just about to change that orange Bravo flag to a blue Delta team flag. I've decided to run up a bit closer to uh, give him some cover. Now, there's quite a few of our friendlies around, they're in the bushes nearby, waiting for some enemies to pop their heads up. Whee. And there's our flag, so we've secured this base, and now we're going to move on to the next base, uh, which is the nest, just up here. However, on our way over we've encountered some contact. See him from, uh, from the nest, the base up there. Well, I just noticed the guy behind a bush over here. Yeah, you can just see his arm going up there. You just might have just seen a flash of his orange arm down there. All right, we're up to the nest now. That's the last Bravo player on my left, just walking away there. Again, our whole team got up here pretty quickly, all at the same time. By the time I've got up here, most of the contacts already been taken out. The enemy team's been spread out pretty thin, though. We've had quite a large, pe uh, quite a large group of people working together, so we've been able to take them out quite easily so far. Now yeah, we're just putting up the flag there. Right, we're now just move into another base, the trenches, which is not too far at all. Again, just before we've got there, we've just uh, noticed another enemy player coming by. Me and my mate on the right there, just both shot that guy. You can just see my BBs hitting him there. But yeah, staying together in a group like this is working really well. We've now moved up to the trench. Got a few people have gone right into the trench. Uh, it can be pretty hairy in there, but it's also not too bad cover as long as not too many enemies rush you at the same time. You can defend it quite well. See, there's a few of us actually in the base. I've decided to go in there with them. Offer as much cover as I can. We've got a teammate trying to put up the flag right there. The guy putting up the flag has just been taken out. Fire coming in from nest direction. Okay, just spotted one. Just about got that guy through the bush. It's a little bit tricky to see on the scope cam there. The uh, rope in front of the camera is blocking the view a little bit. I'm going to keep looking out in this direction. What you really need when you've got a group of people like this, you need everyone to look in a different direction. Everyone to have their own sector to scan. I saw a bit of movement in the bush. Don't know if I hit anything then. Didn't see any direct hit and didn't hear anyone shout hit or anything. So I'm not sure, but there was definitely some enemy movement in the bush. Another one of our team members has decided to try and put the flag up. Just spotted another enemy there. He wasn't expecting so many people to be here, unfortunately for him. Our teammate did try to put the flag up from inside the base, but he couldn't do it too well, so he's had to actually climb out and go to the actual pole to try and put the flag up. <laughs> People down on this hill on the other side on the right. Put the flag up now and we actually have a base, another base really close by. The other guys just run over there to put the flag up over there. Okay, we managed to put up the flag at the other base too, so now we're moving on to the prison camp. This is the last one, the last of the bases of which we have to put a flag up this morning. Approaching the building from the rear. We've got a small number of friendlies inside the prison camp, I'm not sure how many, one or two probably. You can just see his armband. Just keeping an eye out as our other friendlies move up. Yeah, you can see the guy I shot that just come out of the bush there. Group of friendlies gone up to the actual building now. They're all going to go in. We've got quite a lot of friendlies inside and around the building now. So I'm going to push up to that bush where I saw the enemy. Uh, it's actually quite a favourite spot of mine in that bush there. It's a pretty good place to get people. But also we need to make sure the enemies don't get in there because uh, they can cause us some serious trouble if the enemies get back in there. If there had been more than one when we first got there, they actually could have uh, 
caused us quite serious trouble there. But I had a quick look to make sure there was no more contact in the bush before moving into it myself. But yeah, I've moved into the bush. Not too far from where that last uh, enemy was that I saw. There's definitely enemies on the other side of the prison camp. Heard some shots coming in from there. I'm just trying to spot them. Can't see anything yet, but I know they're over there. This is the last flag, so they're going to be doing... Um, th there's nowhere else for them to defend, so there's going to be lots of enemies here, I'm sure. As you can see, they're moving in on us, and another one just move, just moving up on uh, the base as well. They weren't expecting so many of us to have moved in here so quickly, by the look of it. Now they keep moving up towards the base, keep moving into the surrounding bushes. What we could really do with is clearing all the enemies out on the other side of the prison camp as well, so I'm going to attempt to push up, see if I can take any of them out. Well, they got shot straight away. There must be quite a few of them. They just dug in really well, so you can't see them. Pretty good morning session, though. Got a few kills there, and assisted in putting up some flags. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Take it easy.